you have, in a lot of ways, paved the way for a lot of worship artists. Oh, that's very kind. I don't know if I would say that, but I feel grateful to be, you know, a part of a movement that's generational that we all get to be a part of. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, what encouragement or advice would you have for the next generation of worship artists, especially? I think, um, you know, the the biggest thing we can do, whether it's in as worshippers or in any sphere of life, is to just take on um, take on the attitude of Jesus which was to be servant hearted so how can we serve people with our gifts but also how can we serve people with our lives how can we serve the next generation that's coming through how can we be champions of others and um, and just hold everything lightly and let the Lord do what he wants with our lives yeah. yes I love that now you're a mama yes. I'm a mama with another one. Oh my gosh congratulations but how do we disciple the next generation of believers yeah. well and to equip them to stand firm for the gospel in a culture that it's getting harder to do that yeah I think we, we need to um, I'm really excited I believe there's a, ne a next generation of teachers that are coming coming up who have a really firm handle on the Word of God and then I think it's about us you know making sure particularly you know we're standing here at, a, at an awards night about music I think it's really important that the music that we are writing as songwriters and worship leaders is really biblical um, because what people are putting in their mouths and singing out is going to form what they believe about God so it has to be true and then I think just for all of us um, really uh, really prizing um, what the world doesn't prize which is the unseen and hidden the unseen and hidden things that, that are unseen and hidden life that being pleasing to God everything else flows out of that but if we don't get that right that's when the consequences to the next generation are devastating so making sure that in our private and unseen lives that spiritual disciplines and spiritual practices um, that we're sowing into those things because there's a lot of other things that are distracting and so we need to make sure that um, we can keep our hearts focused on, on what's going to sustain us to finish running the race well.